All right, y'all. Welcome to an extra special episode of Trade, a show where we take sex questions from the internet. Yeah. Now, we have an extra special guest today. Because normally you just get me and Dakota. Yes. But today, we've got Rain. <laughs> Now, Rain might be joining us, but just like in every other episode, none of us are health medical professionals. We are more like unhealthy, very sexual. Mm. But knowledgeable. But knowledgeable. Informed whores. Informed whores. Informed whores. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Very informed. We yeah. don't have all of the book smarts. Yeah. But we've got sheet Smarts. Okay. Yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. Not Steve Smart. Not Steve Smart. Not Steve Smart. Hashtag Sheet Smarts. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you right, right? Okay. Trade. Mark that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're done. This is over. <laughs> you ready to jump into this? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Oh wait, I, but before we go into that, let's give like a little introduction. Yeah, yeah, Rain yeah. Yeah. was formerly in the adult entertainment industry. Um, and, um, and he's also part of the House of Garcon. Oh, word. Yeah, did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. Have you walked categories before? What have you done? Uh, well, I walked Sex Siren. Okay. So, obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. I walked Sex Siren. I've been in the um, ballroom scene for like 10 or 11 years. Nice. I was originally House of Ninja. I was House of Ninja for like eight years. And then I left uh, House of Ninja and went to Garcon. Nice. Was there drama when you did that? No, I actually love House and Ninja on like a very positive note. It's just that mm. there's some like when you join a house, like you're your representation of the house. And like mm. one of the things about House and Ninja, I'm not putting them on blast or like I'm not against them, but they don't allow sex workers. So mm. I love House and Ninja and I went to Garcon and that's when I became a sex worker. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, you know, I gotta get my point made. Yeah, mm-hmm. we like a sex positive house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think against Ninja, I love House and Ninja. Yeah, I want to be in a house where they like want you to suck dick for money. You wait, wouldn't wait. be in a house. I want where to they, be. Oh, you I want, want to be in the house. To be in that house. Where you they want to be encourage it. in like the best little whorehouse. The best little whorehouse. What Texas. house you need to be in? <laughs> <laughs> the house of whores. <laughs> hey. The house of whores. The Kiki house of whores. I'm here hey. for it. Right. Mother. Hey, mother of the house. I love that. Mother of the house of whores. <laughs> mother of the house of whores. Well, you ready to jump into this episode? Let's Let's take some like extra spicy, extra fierce questions from the internet about from you guys, dick second and things like that. After this airplane, things we love to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, right airplane. I don't really suck dick like that. I eat ass. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm an ass. That's okay. I just did involuntary kegels. Um, Our first question today comes from someone who's worried they aren't quite measuring up. Mm. This anonymous viewer writes in asking, I'm a short top and my partner is a tall bottom. We've tried a couple of positions, but nothing feels right. Any suggestions on making these odd puzzle pieces fit together? Aww. I love short Tops and I love tall bottoms. Okay, both. <laughs> I, and, and I love tops that are shorter than me. I like getting plowed by a little guy because sometimes that like there's like less distance for them to go back before they're ramming it at me again. I don't know. Mm. I, it, I, I, I like a short guy, a short top sometimes. Or a tall bottom. I like tall bottoms. I have no problem with it. I've never had an issue with f***ing a tall bottom. Like, yeah. yeah. So I don't, and I've f***ing tall bottoms. Like, but wrap you're those tall legs. as well. So like a tall top, tall bottom, you know. I think it's all sort of like, are you on the couch? Are you on the bed, you know? Are, is one person on their knees? Are you trying to like mm-hmm. get up in it? Yeah. yeah. You just have to find the, the two find levels to, yeah. to, to get yeah. up in it. Listen, put them in the corner of the couch. You know, get them in the corner of the couch and just get behind them. And just, you know. Yeah. Please put a know. visual here. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Put my face right here. Corner of the couch, like actually on the cushion. Mm. In the couch, like right? Where you should be sitting, mm-hmm. you know, just, like this. Yeah, like this. Face you, in the cushion. Face in the cushion, and you know, you just put your leg up on like the armrest and just get in there. Okay. You have no issues, trust me. Yeah. I, I love that position, honestly. <laughs> the bed, get to the couch. Yeah. yeah. Actually, as a child, I my couch before. 
We talked so. about this earlier. Well, <laughs> yeah, so. It's full circle. Who has a the cushion? Who has a exactly. the cushion? Just a light little grind did you, on it. Did you, you know? the cushion when you were a kid? No. I, hope, I dropped off the cushion. Okay. The thing for me was at recess, I had this little kinky thing where like they would, the bell would ring saying recess is over and I would have to slide down the pole and I swear, like, I felt something, like, in my bits, just like, uh, knowing that, like, were, hurry up, time to go. Everyone, everyone's going in. And so you're just like, oh, oh, God. You know, that was my first sexual awakening. So you started getting off on the pole at a very early age. Born to be a stripper. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, I have another suggestion. I don't know if he has, like, a dining room table, but the, um, the little lone, what are the lone seats called? Oh, oh. like an, uh, um, um, a chase. A a chase. A, a, a pew? No. <laughs> Not a church. <laughs> Not a church. <laughs> Not a church. <laughs> have you had sex in a church, though? Yes, Maybe. I have had sex no, in a church. I am a man of God. I, I have to admit that when I was younger, I sucked a boy's dick in my church's basement. It wow. Happened. In the basement, though, not like in the same. You're still on holy grounds, baby. Grounds. Yeah. <laughs> if they believe you. Well, holy listen. Grounds. Jesus is the only person who was ever in a church who was born without a dick being sucked. So, like, I just did. I just did a miracle that everybody else does. We don't, Jesus might have been sucking dick. What happened from like that period of the Bible before Jesus came back? What was, what was he off doing? He was, uh, he went, he went to hell and then died for all of our sins and then came back. Not what? the resurrection. That's what it says. He no. did not say he went to hell. No, he did. He like goes to hell and then he ascended into heaven. It does. It says it in the Bible. It does. I promise you. Does it? We're yeah. We're going to look that up after this. It does. Listen, <laughs> back to the thing. Like, right. Get your partner to like lay down on it, you know, mm -hmm. and grasp it mm -hmm. while you're behind them. And you just, you know, yeah. get on the yeah. ground. I love another position I love. Mm -hmm. you Thank can, me later. I'm thanking you right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Angles. Angles. Positions. Furniture mm -hmm. levels. Yes. Don't let him like get on. If you that short, and don't let him get on top of you and ride it. Why not? So, well, because then he has to do all like of this. I love that. Do, do, like, I just love being like a hawk smash. Yeah. Like I don't know. No. Well. No. From opposites attract to birds of a feather flock together. Our next question comes from the trade viewer. Mailbag. Oh, the trade viewer mailbag. I thought it was a trade viewer named mailbag. Okay. <laughs> so, viewer Anthony. Viewer Anthony writes in asking us about he and his partner's particular problem. Apparently, Anthony and his partner are both virgins, and wondering if we have any advice for two first timers to make their experience extra special. I don't know. Do you? Um, I'm. Trying to remember my virginity, but <laughs> the I've year was 1853. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> First we were, timers. Um, Ooh. Uh, Both are virgins. Well, That's I'd, how special. Yeah, you don't want to like suggest Someone's poppers right. too soon. You don't want to go too deep into it too soon. Why not? You need poppers. But then you're gonna get a headache or spill them. You know, I feel like you have to work your way up to okay, to silicone them. lube. Okay. No. no, you start with the silicone no, lube. No, they should go get them some like. They're nice gonna make a mess. It's gonna be a mess. Anal, anal toys. Yeah. Um, oh, like definitely start off with butt plugs. Like with the booty. Lots but, of oral sex. Lots, lots of, of oral, oral sex. Lots of fellatio. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and anal, analingus. Analingus is important. What's an, which one is that? Analingus. Analingus is when you're eating someone's anal. Oh, is anal. that it? Eating yes. ass? Conolingus is when you're eating someone's vagina. Wow. Conolingus and analingus. Yeah. Is, is cool. analingus really a thing? You, you, you do it all the time. <laughs> 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 analingus. Yeah. Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> so lots of oral sex yes. is a good advice. Finding the right, okay, so like maybe yes to poppers and like whatever kind of lube, but like always have like a little station ready, like the towel, you want a towel. Yeah, like I was the just, sex blanket. I was just performing in uh, Hawaii. I was just performing in Hawaii and for Kona Pride, they gave us these bags full of like all of this cool paraphernalia. And this is my favorite Pride bag that I've ever gotten because it had little Kona cum rags. Uh. I was like, oh. Tom rags are important. Yeah. How to yeah. wipe your hand after you put the lube on. Baby yeah. wipes. Baby oh, wipes. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. then you like have to like put the lube on your dick and then like make the fist, you know, where you're like, don't oh, no. stay in the couch, you yes. know? Or if you really or you just, just keep it on the whole like time. the bottom of your 
can you just like put it on your hand and you just like wipe it off? Wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> or if you kind of like them, you gently do it like. Yeah, I always <laughs> like to do. What I like to do is like after I get my dick wet and get it in there, I sort of like jack their dick off, so you yeah. sort of dispense Pins the lube onto yeah. their cock. Yeah. Down. Yeah, or yeah, the towel, the rag. The you towel, know. the rag, yeah. Organization, right? Yeah. Think ahead of time and uh, think about the cleanup after the sex. You think know? about the pre cleaning. The pre cleaning. Oh my goodness. Watch, should we do a whole episode on douching? Probably? We should do a whole episode. A whole episode on a douching. A tutorial. <laughs> 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 okay, let's see what our next topic to talk about is. Mm. All right, okay, so Rain, for this final question, we're going to address a topic near and dear to both of our lives. Mm -hmm. Porn, I know you're leaving the porn industry, right? But uh, long gone are the days of hiding your dirty magazines under the mattress, right? Thanks to the internet, porn is prevalent in everyday life. I mean, porn stars are now hosting some of your favorite online shows. <laughs> so it's understandable that an anonymous user would ask us this next question. They ask, my boyfriend is addicted to porn. I don't mind that he watches it every once in a while, but I've caught him watching it basically every day the past week, and sometimes even multiple times a day. How can I discuss this problem with him? I don't always see it as a problem. Maybe What's he's problem? just curious or trying to think of creative ways to plow you, you yeah. know? Looking for inspiration. Yeah. It's like watching cooking channels before you make a meal. Right, right? exactly. You just have an appetite. Or while That's you're good, cooking, right? yeah, like that is that is really good. I've never thought about it like that. Okay, I'm gonna go against y'all because I think he got a problem, girl. Oh no! <laughs> really? <laughs> you don't think people Every can watch porn? Day, every... Multiple times. Do you think He's about addicted. sex? Do you think of? Do, do you think no. about sex every day? No. You don't. Do you f every day? No. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So maybe you don't need to watch porn because you're living the porn fantasy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and maybe that's why. Yeah. Well, you he know, has a whole fucking boyfriend. He can just fuck his boyfriend if he's horny. Right. Yeah, maybe, but people like variety. That is also normal. That's true. Yeah. What if he created like porn like scenarios where he shows up dressed as a delivery guy or like yeah. does some things so like you don't have to seek out the porn because it's like you're in a porn. Great. Also, people get off on multiple things, and like, there's nothing wrong with self pleasure, yeah. even if you have a partnership. Yeah, and if, awesome. yeah, if porn is part of your self pleasure, then like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Like, fucking jerk off, wank off to Dakota Payne XXX every day of your life. Every single day of your it life. It would be an issue if he was like only doing porn and not and not in the person. Yeah, but he's also fucking you. Like, yeah. you know, like. Mm. So if, if if he stops fucking you and he's only doing porn, then then there's, there's that should be an issue. But I wouldn't yeah. make him feel bad about watching porn yeah. every day. What kind of porn is he watching? Right. Is and it, it good? Is it good porn? That's what you want. I, maybe, maybe he's just on Twitter. If I go on Twitter, I can't not see porn. Yeah. Even if I'm just trying to That's check true. my notifications. That's true. It becomes a kerfuffle. And then eventually I see a dick that I want to see more of and I click on that. I'm like, okay. It's a rabbit hole. Like, <laughs> you gotta follow. <laughs> right, right. You gotta follow the people he's following. Right, exactly. And then they're like, oh my gosh, I'm watching porn. But wow. back to the question at hand. Um, I don't think that your boyfriend has a problem with porn. I don't think there's a problem watching porn every day. I don't think that being sexual is a problem, period. In fact, everybody who's here is here because of sex. Except for Jesus, and he's not here. Uh, because he With was us. a test tube baby? No, like... <laughs> Is Jesus really a Kardashian? That. Jesus is yes. You know what? That would make the a lot of Kardashian. sense. Because everyone is just yeah. obsessed. Yeah, Jesus K. Christ. Je <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you are going to hell. If that's what does it, with all of the dicks he's been in here, if that's coming out is what does it, I was already signed up. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> anyway. Jesus K. Christ. Jesus K. Christ. That's going to be that one. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I hope you've enjoyed another exciting episode of Trey. Thank you for joining us, Rain. Yes. Where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Who's Russian. S-W-H-O-S-R-U-S-H-I-N. And you can find me on Twitter at Rain underscore underscore forever. Mm. Nice. And everyone wants to know, who is Russian? 
You're rushing to his page. I know. I am right now. Hot content he provides. Hey. <laughs> of course, you can find me at Honey Davenport Official on Instagram and YouTube, and Honey underscore Davenport on Twitter, which won't be as exciting as Rain underscore underscore forever because it got two underscores. Right. <laughs> the first one was taken. <laughs> Rain oh, forever is taken. Yes. Damn them. Damn them all. Uh, I'm on the internet as well, Dakota Payne XXX or Dakota Payne Official. Look it up, find it, you know what to do. Hey, hey. until next time, try not to get as much lube on your sheets because sometimes it don't come out. Okay. Sex towel. Yeah. Or tarp. A tarp, sex tarp. What Hashtag sex tarp. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs>